वेलकम अगेन इन केस यू आर प्लानिंग टू स्टार्ट यूर कोचिंग बिजनेस प्लानिंग टू स्टार्ट यूर टीचिंग करियर और यू आर ऑलरेडी इन टू कोचिंग बिजनेस और यू आर ऑलरेडी टीचर देन आई थिंक यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस फोर पिलर्स फोर पिलर्स ऑफ यूर कोचिंग बिजनेस लेट एस स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट पिलर इज यूर सब्जेक्ट नॉलेज नाउ जस्ट इमेज यू हैव स्टार्टेड कोचिंग बिजनेस यू हैव स्टार्टेड यूर टीचिंग करियर विदाउट प्रॉपर सब्जेक्ट नॉलेज जस्ट बिकॉज देर इज डिमांड फ्रॉम पेरेंट्स और देर इज डिमांड इन मार्केट एंड दैट्स वाई यू हैव स्टार्टेड पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट विदाउट डूइंग प्रॉपर रिसर्च और विदाउट प्रैक्टिसिंग दैट प्रॉपरली वॉट विल हैपन you can run your coaching business but for short period of time that will be not for longer time because not having a proper knowledge of your subject will not give you that confidence and without confidence you will not be able to deliver properly and that will somewhere that will restrict expansion of your coaching business so having proper subject knowledge is first step is first pillar of your coaching business the second pillar of your coaching business having subject knowledge you are good in your subject you are expert in your subject is not enough the second pillar is your unique style i call it as your plus factor how you deliver that subject how you deliver the content how you make your students understand that subject that is your unique style that is your plus factor and that unique style makes you different from others so you need to find out what is your unique style that is e that is very obvious for you that is helping uh, helping your students that is helping your parents so you need to find out that factor inside you and i'm sure you have that one factor one unique factor i find out that one factor merge that one style with your subject and deliver your content deliver your subject with that unique style that will be the second pillar of your coaching business now third pillar third pillar of your coaching business is your own values because i strongly believe teacher and parents are pillars of societies and teacher is not only teaching subject unknowingly we are also delivering our values are you inspiration to your students are you motivation for your students are you strict but with love in your heart or are you very lenient what are the values you are providing to your kids what are the values you are sharing with your kids those values are very important and this this is your third pillar and for that you need to understand your core values when you understand your core values and you align your coaching business with that core values it will be great help to society as well as to you so now the next is your fourth pillar is your own image your image as a teacher now what do i mean image image is based on how you speak what do you speak do you motivate your child do you motivate your student or you demotivate them ha the words you use your behavior with students your intention your intention plays very important role and how you carry yourself when you are in that role of teacher that is very important are you very casual are you very strict or you are connective with your students you are connective with parents so all these things matters a lot and that's why i feel every teacher must carry her image professionally passionately so i think these are four pillars of your coaching business i'll repeat it your subject knowledge your own style unique style plus factor of delivering that subject your core values and your own image how you carry yourself that is very important so this is my understanding If you agree with this, whatever you are understanding, please let me know in comment box. This is Shubhada Bhavi, teacher, trainer, entrepreneur, and parent.